you for joining me for a special report on the BRIC Energy Future. Tonight, we'll take a closer look at the impact of Brazil, Russia, India, and China on the global energy ecosystem in 2030. So let's get started with Brazil. By 2030, Brazil will be well positioned to achieve its goal of energy self-sufficiency through diversification. Hydropower, currently the largest renewable source, will decline by 2-3% due to concerns about environmental damage and displacement of indigenous communities. We expect strong growth from biomass and ethanol and wind due to its untapped potential in the north. Solar will be limited by costly production, and though new oil fields will bring in export revenues, Brazil will remain the renewable energy leader of the BRICS in 2030. With the world's largest natural gas reserves and untapped oil potential, Russia has both economic and geopolitical reasons to be a major producer and exporter of oil and natural gas. Yet concerns about energy security will drive Russia to invest in technology upgrades, international partnerships, and a localized approach to make renewable energy at least 5% of its domestic supply. Most promising are wind in the south, hydroelectricity in northern Siberia, and geothermal in the east. India, where energy access is still the main concern. Coal will continue to dominate as population and demand grow, prompting India's government to loosen restraints on the energy market in order to address its main obstacle, high energy poverty. Not wanting to over-rely on fossil fuel imports, India will invest substantially in renewable energy to achieve its 20% target. Wind and solar will see strong growth due to their untapped potential, but biomass will allow India to reduce energy poverty in rural areas by 10%. As China's economy grows, so does its hunger for energy. But China is poised to move away from coal as its national plan calls for energy diversification. Hydropower will compose the lion's share of renewable energy, but controversial environmental and social impacts will push investment in favor of wind. China will reduce solar subsidies, so the firms that can achieve grid parity with fossil fuels at the lowest cost will be the winners. In 2030, the BRICS will see increasing population, economic growth, and thus energy demand. Government stimulus and concerns about supply shocks, energy security, and environmental impact will drive higher growth in renewables, but fossil fuels will be here to stay. This has been Karen Mock reporting from the United States on the BRIC Energy Future. Good night, and see you in 2030!